I'm Reverend Riley Pickett, and I'm the pastor for Hagar's Community Church. We are a congregation on the inside of Washington Correction Center for Women. And I remember a day when one of my congregants walked into worship with a huge smile on her face, emanating joy, and she said to me, unprompted, Pastor Riley, I never got letters before OPOP, and I'm just so happy to be getting letters. She seemed lighter. I think hope makes people lighter. Alvin Shem, coordinator of OPOP, published some of her correspondence with her team members with her permission, and I was struck by a comment she made on July 16th. She said, I'm excited about my life. New beginnings, new everything. In worship, we've been reading some apocalyptic texts from Mark and Revelation, and I told them that the Greek word for apocalypse literally means uncovering or unveiling, and that these texts have less to do about predicting the end of the world and much more to do with imaginative revisioning. It's protest literature. It takes evil seriously, and in the face of that brokenness says it doesn't have to be this way. And Lily's audacious hope of a new life is protest to a system designed to break her. And the relationships being built with her team members are protests to the idea that our most vulnerable and I'd argue valuable citizens are being cut off from our communities, locked away from meaningful relationship. Folks on the inside tell me all the time that they feel invisible, locked up and put away. And what a shame this is because the world needs their voices. They have special knowledge. After all, our God was arrested, incarcerated, and executed. And in that way, I'm not bringing Jesus to the prison. Jesus is already there. If you'd like to hear more stories like Lily's and to hear about how OPOP is impacting the lives of members at Hagar's Community Church, I invite you to an event on Sunday night, November 21st, this Sunday from 7 to 8 p.m. Underground Ministries is hosting this evening of storytelling called How You Can Interrupt Mass Incarceration. And I hope to see you there.